everyone, Mrs. Halpin here, and welcome to week two of Brit Lit. Um, it, I had such a good time last week getting to know each one of you. Um, I want to thank you for being so kind and welcoming with me being your new teacher in the class. I know that you guys have gone through a lot of changes, so thank you so much for that. I do appreciate it. Um, but I had so much fun learning about you guys. You have so many amazing plans for post graduation and what your lives are, like how you envision your lives. I find them so fascinating. We have students in here who, here who are going to be an, uh, an apprentice to be a tattoo artist. We have students going to uh, ECU and uh, Eastern Carolina University to go to college. We have people becoming cosmetologists people who are going to be joining the military so there are so many different backgrounds here and i love that about online learning because you get to meet so many different types of types of people so thank you so much for sharing a little bit about you with me um because um i, I love to know who I'm, I'm gonna actually be working with this semester so let's get down to business <laughs> um this week we are starting our first unit of the semester and it is drum roll please the enlightenment <laughs> Um, the Enlightenment is a very interesting time period and is um, called the Age of Reason and that is because a lot of new ideas and a lot of changes in thinking happen during this time period, which is why in the classroom you'll see that tagline put up there, individualism, skepticism, scientific revolution, politics, new ideas. Everything in our society and how it's progressive now can be traced back to this time period. This is the first time uh, one of the first times in history where men were starting to question why things were working that they the way that they were. Why was society put that way? Why are we believing the things that we are? Why aren't we questioning the world around us? So it's really a fascinating time period and some really great literature was created because of this, uh, what was happening in this society. So this week we're going to do a little background information on the Enlightenment, and we're going to learn about this time period some. And I know it's not a history class, it's a Brit Lit course, but part of literature is that you have to understand why something is written or what influenced it in order to really appreciate what you're reading. So that is what we'll be doing first. And then we are going to be um, focusing on one author called John Locke, and he is a very influential writer for the Enlightenment and we have him to thank for our type of government that we have in our country. His ideas on political society are what inspired our forefathers to um, structure America the way that it is. So it's really interesting what he said because he was the first person actually saying these things um, from um, since the the ancient Roman times <laughs> so I mean he got his inspiration Every, everybody's inspired by something else but he brought these new ideas to light and questioned why society was the way that it was and how it could be changed to be a more um, equal society so that's it's really interesting to read him then this week we are starting um, writing fundament fundamentals each week, you're going to see a five-point quiz that's going to assess your understanding of grammar. Woo! It is an English course, so, you know, it's kind of important that I teach you that. Um, everything will build on itself um, each week. So the beginning weeks will most likely be pretty easy, and it's going to get tougher as it goes on. Um, make sure that you're coming to class this week. I and Classes are required from now on. I know that last week I had most of the sessions optional because most of you have been with OHVA for a while, whereas um, not everybody has. But now we're all on the same page, and... Um, we're ready to begin. So I look forward to working with you in live sessions this week. If you ever have any questions, just email me, call me. Uh, you can text me on remind. Um, I'm happy to help you out throughout the week, okay? Thank you so much, and have an awesome day. Bye.